Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. Today is Foster Family Week, and I know the Awareness Day is for humans, but I wanted to shine a little light on people who foster animals. And people who foster animals in general, I think, are amazing people because oftentimes the shelter is overloaded, and by the people taking those animals into their homes, not only does it leave more room in the shelter for more animals to come in, but it helps the dog or cat or whatever the animal may be adjust to living outside of a shelter, having a regular home, a routine, all of that. And usually many of their behavioral difficulties, if they have some, may ease up or dissipate by the time they get adopted. One thing I love about foster families is when there's a foster fail. And we call it that because the foster family is supposed to look after the animal until they're ready to be adopted by a different family. But quite often, obviously living with that animal, you get very attached and you fall in love with them. And oftentimes the foster family ends up adopting the dog that they're fostering, which is wonderful. But if you're looking for chances to foster, there are a lot of rescues and shelters that do accept fosters. Um, quite recently, um, the Underground Dog Railroad is a rescue organization that brings dogs up from the States and other places. And um, a woman I used to work for is a huge foster. Um, she's fostered probably over a dozen or two dogs in the time she lives on a farm. In the time that she's lived there, and I know one of her dogs that she has now is a foster fail. But they just brought this dog in, and within a day, this dog was adopted to um, a couple that the um, female of the couple actually used to work at the farm. So the dog was barely there um, a day and she was already adopted, which is amazing. I love what stories like that I saw it and I just knew that I had to talk about it because you could see the joy in everybody's face, the dog, the people, the rescue organization, everybody was so happy. So if you're thinking about getting a dog but not sure how it'll go, fostering is always an option, but you usually have to commit to a set period of time so for example, six months or a year. So do keep that in mind because when you're fostering, you don't wanna have them for a month or two, then return them and then they have to get another foster because that's more stressful for them. So do keep that in mind. Um, another big part is finding the breed or species that's right for you. If we're talking dogs, I do have an ebook on my website called So You Want a Dog. And it will help you narrow down the breed choice that will be right for your lifestyle. If you want to go check that out, it's on my website. But the chance of fostering gives you a chance to see how different breeds of dogs work with your lifestyle. So for example, if you live in, a part, in an apartment, you probably don't want a really big dog. If you're very particular about being neat and tidy, you probably don't want an overly fluffy dog or one that sheds a lot just some things to keep in mind. I think if I could foster, I would probably fail at it because I get very attached and I struggle with seeing an animal and not wanting to take it home. And I know that Kaya eventually wants a brother at some point, but I don't think she's ready to share attention and all of that stuff yet. But we're gonna get there so I know that I'm gonna adopt a dog eventually so I have two but for now Kaya is enough on her own if you cannot currently open up your home to another animal cat dog guinea pig bird whatever have you if you see somebody post or the shelter itself post a picture of a dog that's currently looking for a foster you can just share it whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, just press the little share button and help spread the word. 
oftentimes that make, can make a really big difference because then the right family will see the picture and they'll submit to a, to foster that dog. So for example, um, when my friend was visiting, not this immediate past weekend, but the one before, um, she wanted to go see the dog rescue that I occasionally volunteer at. And we took her there and we fell in love with Maxine. And if you haven't seen my Instagram post about her, go check it out. But we both wanted to take her home. And she does live in Winnipeg. So I said that might be a little bit much for her to go on the on the plane. But if you drove your car here, did like a little road trip, that might be a little better for her. But we both wanted to take her home. But the simple thing of sharing it, then other people get tagged in the picture. Other people will share that picture with people who they think might be interested. And it makes the network bigger. So if you can't currently adopt or foster, just simply sharing the post makes a really big difference. And I know it's all rainy and dreary out today, but I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you later on.